Can I trust you? This week it's personal, really personal. Initially I felt betrayed. From time to time we all get blindsided in life. Things are going along pretty well and then out of the blue, bam, you get hit upside the head and you're temporarily stunned. You think, what the heck just happened? Hi, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm relationship coach Rick Sodebeer. I help you make better dating and relationship decisions by showing you how to create clarity, hone your communication skills, and forge stronger relationship connections. Who can you trust and when? This is an age-old question. Many people say they don't trust anyone until trust has been earned. Yet others say they trust everyone until the other person proves they're not trustworthy. I generally fall into the latter category, almost without exception. That is until recently. Trust is a two-way street. Can I trust you and can you trust me? In the first draft of this blog, I was very one-sided in my writing. I was looking at it at the trust issue from only my point of view. In the last few weeks, it feels like I've been slapped in the face for being trusting. I've interacted with people that feel a huge desire to kiss and tell, both literally and figuratively. Now I I have to accept some of the responsibility here because I never specifically said that what I was sharing was strictly confidential. That being said, because of the nature of the conversation, I assumed it would be. Again, my mistake. When your trust is violated by just a couple of people, it becomes hard to trust anyone. In general, I'm a fairly private person. I don't share a significant amount of my life publicly and on social media like some choose to do. And when I do, I hope that it brings some joy and inspiration to others. When I do share something of very personal, it's generally to let you know that you're not alone. Others have experienced what you're going through. When it comes to relationships, both business and personal, I truly believe that honesty is the best policy. I've always recommended being open and honest when you're trying to get to know someone in a potential romantic relationship. In the past, I found that while my history may drive some people away, it's better to share the details early on in case some of my past may be a deal breaker. Rather, I'd rather you know up front than to keep information from you that will cause a breakup sometime later after feelings have started to develop. To violate someone's trust is a window into your character or the lack of it. I grew up in a time when character meant everything. When you were told something, you didn't share it with anyone unless you were asked or unless you asked and were given specific permission to share. I've spent my life keeping my mouth shut even when I knew some very sensitive information. It wasn't my place to share. I know that some people are suffering with self-esteem issues and feel the need to run someone down or make, uh, to make themselves feel more significant. I too could publicly share embarrassing and humiliating portions of our conversation out of vengeance, but I won't. That's not my style. I'd like to think I have a little more character and a little more class than that. I know that you all have experienced a violation of trust in one way, shape, or form, and I'm not alone. Some people deal with it well and some don't. Normally I take it pretty well and, and wouldn't say a thing. However, there are several instances of broken trust that have weakened my resolve lately and it's hard to take the high road. My initial response to these issues is to lash out and get revenge. We all love a little revenge now and then, right? We love to see the perpetrator get their due justice. As I've thought and rewritten this piece several times, I've come to realize that revenge would do no good for anyone involved. They'll still suffer from low self-esteem and calling them out would only damage their esteem more and potentially make things worse. Will I get past this? Absolutely. Will I ever trust certain people again? Not likely. I have learned that from now on, trust has to be earned. You'll get to know, or I'll get to know uh, someone much better before sharing anything of a true personal nature. I'll listen to your conversations about other people and at the first sign of gossip, I'll know you can't be trusted not to talk behind my back. If your goal is to find a, and develop a long-term relationship with someone, you have to be trustworthy. If you can't be trusted, 
no amount of time and effort you invest in a relationship will ever make it good, much less extraordinary. Also, when you find someone that defends your character behind your back, make sure you keep them as a friend. These are the people you want to surround yourself with, and they're not easy to find. I hope today's topic is helpful. For more information like this, go to my website, ricksodabeer.com, and check out my other blogs and videos. While you're there, request a copy of The Five Biggest Dating and Relationship Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. It's absolutely free for the asking. Next, please go to my Facebook page, Rick Sodebeer Relationship Coach. When you click the like button, also make sure you click the see first button so that you see my daily tips, insights, and inspirations in your newsfeed. Thanks for watching. Have a great and blessed day.